guys welcome back to another video of league of legends so they released a lot of videos and i will try to react to all of them or like half of them and the half of them will be on the next video so the first video it will be about the new champion realm uh she's a support tank support supposed to be and i still didn't watch the trailer and the cinematic video whatever it is for her and i will do it now so let's watch it rel the iron maiden raised in the secret black rose academy rel was forced to test her powers of ferromancy against other children siphoning their magic and growing stronger with every battle she won now this heavily armored metal mancing support is fighting back against the powers that betrayed her Get ready to pump some iron. This is the Rel Champion Spotlight. She looks kind of beautiful, but also like kind of uh, scary. Rel's passive Break the Mold is all about wearing enemies down to beef herself up. Although she attacks extremely slowly. Her attacks briefly steal a percentage of her target's armor and magic resist, and deal bonus damage on hit. Attacking more enemies gives Rel more armor and magic resist, and every new enemy she attacks refreshes the debuff on targets she's already stealing from. Forge your heart into something strong. Unbreakable. Oh, wow. Tough talk for worm food. With her Q, Shattering Strike, Rel thrusts forward with her Lance, damaging and applying her passive to the first enemy hit and dealing half damage to all other targets. Shattering Strike also destroys enemy shields, foiling their defenses so they can eat lead. Rel's W, Ferromancy, comes in two parts. With Crash Down, Rel dons her full metal jacket, transforming her mount into heavy armor, leaping into the air and slamming to the ground to knock up surrounding enemies. She also gains a shield that lasts until broken or until she transforms back to her mounted state. Rel puts the pedal to the metal with Mount Up, transforming her armor back into her Steed of Steel. During her next attack, she charges her target, then flips them over her shoulder, dealing bonus damage. Rel has more durability while armored, but more speed while mounted, which means she can really get the lead out when she needs it most. All this waiting, I just want to fight! Rel's E, Attract and Repel, magnetically binds her to an ally, granting them armor and magic resist while nearby. She can hmm. recast the spell to stun and damage enemies between her and the bound ally. Don't get comfortable. I work alone. Help an alloy out. Damaging an enemy with Shattering Strike will heal Rel and her bound ally a percentage of their missing health. The more enemies hit, the more health they get back. Pairing the bind with Ferromancy allows for some devastating combos. Hitting enemies while mounted can flip them into the stun zone. Knocking enemies up with Crash Down makes them easy targets for a follow-up stun. With her ultimate Magnetic Storm, Rel erupts in unbridled rage, creating a gravitational field around her that sucks in enemies and deals damage over time. It is possible for enemies to escape the Vortex, so Rel must choose which targets to keep in range. Magnetic Storm doesn't interrupt channels or disable any other actions, so basic attacks, flash, and elastic slingshot are still on the table. Playing Rel well is all about knowing when to saddle up and when to hunker down. In your armored state, rely on your extra shielding to win trades. When your shields are down, mount up again to lance a lot and finish the job. Choose the right moment to strike. With low mobility on foot, you might crash down to find yourself all armored up with nowhere to go and no one likes an int horse. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with friends. Use Attract and Repel to bind to allies who can lock down enemies to help set up a stun and shattering strike. You can also use Attract and Repel's stun radius to peel your squishies from assassins. Then, strike while the iron's hot. For the ultimate crowd control combo, wait for enemy dashes to go on cooldown, then charge in for a huge knockup. While in the air, cast Magnetic Storm and Attract and Repel. So when you finally crash down, all your team has to do is pick up the shrapnel. Yeah. Someone scrape this idiot off the floor. Rel, Rel, Rel. Think you've got what it takes to ride with the Iron Maiden? Test your metal in the bot lane with Rel. 
Learn more about this heavy metal tank at the links below. They made her like kind of um uh too much. Um champion, I mean um as as a support like it's like Leona combined with Tariq somehow like that. Um yeah, <laughs> that's how I see it. I don't know. Uh, maybe you see it like different. Some saying that yeah, she's a firm female version of Hecarim because she is on a horse or a kind of other version of of Sejuani because Sejuani also are riding on her mount. But I what I see it's like combined like Leona combined with Tarek. I mean, I'm trying to like look on about on supports. Okay, so she just like have the link like Tarek, and she stones like uh, Pike, and um, and she's annoying like um, you know, like Leona. Um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting, interesting uh, support. I guess she will be much more annoying than. Uh, annoying supports that are like Leona, for example, or Tariq, for example. So it's like combine of two supports or three supports in one support. It's kind of annoying uh, if you think about that. Okay. So now we will watch the cinematic video of um, of Rel. It's called the Iron Median Maiden. I guess I hope I said it right, Maiden. So let's watch it. The helpless fight. The hardened live. That's what they taught me. What they forced down my throat. They wanted me to be strong, ruthless, cold as iron. <laughs> that's it for rel i guess it was kind of interesting she's a really interesting champion um her her cinematic video it's also really interesting and i'm kind of uh curious who her mother because she have a lot of hate for her mother like i didn't um, on the um, on her voice um reaction what she's saying and she was a lot saying about her voice and she was a lot mentioning mentioning um talking to LeBlanc I don't know what their what the connection between her and LeBlanc um kind of interesting I still I'm not reading uh their lores yet I will I will soon um after my reading skills will be a little bit better so I will do that um but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video smash the like button if you do I will do reaction of the battle queens uh after that so yeah stay tuned and i will see you in my next videos bye